Surcasting. Surcasting is one of the uh, basic method normally what we are adopting in the case of the MMC. Surcasting is a type of the casting process in which the mechanical stirrer is introduced uh, to form a vortex and as well as mix the reinforcement in the matrix material. It is a suitable process for the production of the MMC due to the cost effectiveness and applicability to the mass production simplicity almost net shaping the and easier the control of the composite structures stir casting setup is as shown in the figure which consists of the furnace reinforcement feeder and as well as the mechanical stirrer the furnace is used to heating and as well as the melting the material the schematic diagram shows the stir casting technique the stir casting technique consists of the furnace inside the furnace a crucible will be there inside the crucible the metal is melt where the heating is done by using the furnace and for the furnace a uh, for the uh, for the furnace a reinforcement hopper is a, is fixed where the reinforcement is fed through the hopper uh, the motor is used to stir the mixing of the matrix and as well as the reinforcement the stir normally it will be of the graphite stirrer the bottom pouring furnace is a more suitable for the stir casting or uh, is often the stirring and as well as the mixing the stirry instead of the pouring pouring is required to avoid the settling of the solid particles which is nothing but the reinforcement the mechanical stirrer is used to form the vortex which leads the mixing of the reinforcement material which is introduced into the melt stirrer consists of the stirring rod and as well as the impeller blade normally the impeller blade geometry geometry varies and even the number is all number of the blades is also varies uh, the flat blades with a three number are preferred as a least to the axial force pattern uh, in the crucible with a lesser le lesser power consumption the stirrer it consists of the variable speed motor the rotation speed of the stirrer is controlled by the regulator attached to the motor further the feeder is attached with the furnace and used to feed the reinforcement powder into the melt the permanent mold sand mold or it may be a lost wax mold can be used for the pouring and as well as mixing of the slurry the various steps involved in the stir casting process is as shown in the figure in this process the matrix material is kept in the bottom pouring furnace for the melt simultaneously reinforcement and as well as the preheat is a different furnace at a certain temperature and the rim to remove the moisture impurities in some cases degassing agents are also used to remove the impurities or the gases which has been produced in the process now the way the various steps involved in involved in the in the process is explained by using the block diagram the melt of the matrix material the stirring of the matrix material the feeding of the reinforcement and the continuous stirring of the matrix and as well as the reinforcement afterwards pouring into the mold and then the solidification this is a process normally which has been adopted in the mmc or it may be a stir casting technique the squeeze casting squeeze casting or the squeeze filter infiltration is another technique normally which has been adopted for the MMCs. The squeeze, squeeze casting infiltration is forced in infiltration method of the liquid phase fabrication of the uh, MMC using a movable mold part called as a ram for applying the pressure on the molten metal and forcing to penetrate to, to perform a dispersed phase and to place into the lower fixed mold the squeeze casting infiltration method is similar to the squeeze casting technique but it is used for the metals alloys and as well as the castings of the mmc's powder metallurgy powder metallurgy is the name given to the process by which a fine powder material is blended pressed into a desired shape and then heated and bonded to form a component the typically 
used when a large amount of small or integrated parts with a high precision is required powder metallurgy techniques are adapted little material waste and uh, unusual mixtures can be utilized very easily use of the parts is automotive industry and as well as a household up appliances and some of the applications even in the aero industries also the powder metallurgy science is producing the metal powder and making the finished or semi finished object for from a mixed or a mixed uh, alloy powder with or without the addition of the non metallic constituents the steps involved in the powder metallurgy are powder production mixing or blending compaction and as well as the sintering the powder preparation this is the first and as well as a basic step involved in the powder metallurgical technique where the powder is powder form of the metals are used as a base material there are various process to produce the metallic powder either by means of the autom automation or by means of grinding or chemical reaction or electrolysis process etc mixing and blending is a second step in which the reinforced material is mixed with the raw material which is nothing but a powder this process ensure and as well as the distribution of the powder with the additive and as well as the binders etc sometimes the lubricants are also added in in the blending process to improve the characteristics of the powder the compacting compacting means the compressed and and the prepared powder mixture into a predefined dye this step ensures the reduce of the voids and increasing the density of the product the product is compacted into the mold by the application of the pressure it involves the pressure varying from 80 to 1600 mpa depending upon the size of the component and also the material used the pressure depends upon the properties of the metal powder and also the binders which are used in the process the sintering the green compact produced by the compressing is not very strong and it can't be used for as as a final product the step involves in is nothing but the heating heating of the green compact to a elevated temperature where the permanent strong bonding will takes place between the particles or even the crystals this process provides the strength to the green compacted component the sintering temperature is normally 70 to 90 percent of the melting temperature of the metal powder the secondary operation the sintered object is more porous compared to the fully densed material the density uh, density of the product depends upon the press capacity or it may be the sintering temperature or the compressing pressure sometimes the product does not requires a high density and as well as the sintered uh, products is directly used for the as a final product the most commonly secondary operations use the sizing or hot hot forging coining uh, infiltration or impregnations etc in most of the cases the secondary operations are not required but in some cases the secondary operations are essential uh, this is a flow flow process of the powder metallurgy technique uh, what we can say that in the first one is the powder, powder material is blended the compacted and sintered in the after sintering the secondary operations that depends upon the type of the material either it may be secondary operations is required or not and lastly what we are obtaining is nothing but the finished component this is a schematic diagram shows the powder metallurgical technique how the power, powder metallurgical part is obtained in the process powder metallurgical advantages the part can be produced clean bright and as well as ready to use the article of any intricate shapes can be manufactured very easily close dimensional tolerance can also be achieved even the machining operations are also eliminated the parts have the excellent 
finishing and as well as high dimensional accuracies. The metals and even non-metals can be mixed very easily in any proportion. The high production rate can be achieved. The disadvantages. High initial cost. The equipment used and operation is costly. The impossible, impossibility of having the completely dense product. The metal powder is expensive and in some cases it is difficult to store. The sum of some power may present a explosion hazards also like either it may be the aluminum powders. The applications uh, to produce a porous porous product and what we can say the most of the automobile and as well as the aircraft aircraft parts are fabricated by using the powder metallurgical techniques even the babette bearings for the automobiles are also fabricated by using this technique to produce oil pumps gears for automobiles and also some major applications in the case of the cutting tools even diamond impregnated tools are also fabricated by using this technique.